Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, and, and, that's, and, that's, and that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Look at the screen. That's mine. And, and, I, that, and I'm going to stick and beside that's, him. And that's what you're going to settle for. I'm going to stick beside him. Look at the screen. Hey, what's up, what's up? It's your girl here, MJ's Mia. Welcome to the channel. Yes. This whole thing of 50, I think it's 50 plus people wrote a letter for Danny Manishton. If you didn't know, he was accused of the ape. He was accused of it and he was sentenced. And um, yeah, there was a bunch of celebs that actually took up for him. You know, they did that I'm a stick beside him moment, you know. So I had to post that. That was my video that I edited and I put on TikTok. Um, I did that too. <laughs> You know, the stick beside him, I had to do it because that's basically what it's given. You know, despite what he had done to these other women, it, you know, this is why I would say celebrities, especially them dang on white celebrities, I hate to say it, but they gonna stick together and they gonna stick beside him, <laughs> okay? So let me play this article for you real quick. So you won't think that this is some, you know, some lie that they just made up on social media, but this actually is a real thing. Ashton Kutcher Mila Kunis wrote letters in support of Danny Masterson ahead of rape sentencing. Kutcher called him a role model by Zach Scharf. Ashton Kutcher and Mila Kunis were two of more than 50 people who wrote to the judge in the Danny Masterson sexual assault trial to support the convicted actor ahead of his sentencing, per court documents obtained by Variety. Kutcher and Kunis, who are married and share two young children, starred with Masterson on Fox's sitcom That 70s Show, which ran for eight seasons and 200 episodes between 1998 and 2006. Kutcher then starred with Masterson on Netflix's The Ranch. Masterson was written out of the show in its third season after being accused of sexual assault in 2017. Kutcher and Kunis wrote letters in an effort to the urge the judge for a lesser sentencing. In Kutcher's letter, he referred to Masterson as a role model. In Kunis' letter, she vouched for Masterson's exceptional character and referred to him as an outstanding older brother figure. Masterson had been facing 30 years to life, which is the maximum sentence allowed by law. His defense was asking for 15 years to life, so those who wrote letters to the judge were likely aware he would be getting at least 15 years in prison. On Thursday, he was sentenced to the maximum 30 years to life in downtown Los Angeles. He will be eligible for parole when he is 77 years old. Other stars from the 70s show who wrote to the judge include Deborah Jo Rupp, who played Kitty on the sitcom, and Kurtwood Smith, who played Red. Masterson's famous family members wrote letters in his support, including his siblings Alana Masterson, The Walking Dead, Christopher Masterson, Malcolm in the Middle, Jordan Masterson, Last Man Standing, as well as his brother-in-law Billy Baldwin and his wife, the actor and model Bijou Phillips. Other Hollywood names who wrote to the judge include actor Giovanni Ribisi, Jim Patterson, creator of Netflix's The Ranch, Masterson's former publicist, Jenny Weinman, and TV director, David Trainer, who worked on The 70s Show and The Ranch. In Kutcher's letter, he writes, While I'm aware that the judgment has been cast as guilty on two counts by force and the victims have a great desire for justice, I hope that my testament to his character is taken into consideration in sentencing. I do not believe he is an ongoing harm to society and having his daughter raised without a present father would be a tertiary injustice in and of itself. Thank you for taking the time to read this. Kunis' letter adds, I wholeheartedly vouch for Danny Masterson's exceptional character and the tremendous positive influence he has had on me and the people around him. His dedication to leading a drug-free life and the genuine care he extends to others make him an outstanding role model and friend. Both Kutcher and Kunis wrote about Masterson's drug-free lifestyle and noted he was a positive force on their lives. During the trial, prosecutors said Masterson drugged women before sexually assaulting them. One of the most remarkable aspects of Danny's character is his unwavering commitment to discouraging the use of drugs. His influence on mine in this regard has been invaluable, Kunis wrote. In an industry where the pressures and temptations of substance use can be overwhelming, Danny played a pivotal role in guiding me away from such destructive paths. His dedication to avoiding all substances has inspired not only me, but also countless others in our circle. 
Danny's steadfastness in promoting a drug-free lifestyle has been a guiding light in my journey through the entertainment world and has helped me prioritize my well-being and focus on make responsible choices. Kutcher wrote, I attribute not falling into the typical Hollywood life of drugs directly to Danny. He continued any time that we were to meet someone or interact with someone who was on drugs or did drugs, he made it clear that wouldn't be a good person to be friends with. I'm grateful to him for that positive peer pressure. Variety has reached out to Kutcher and Kunis representatives for further comment. Tony Ortega, a prominent journalist who regularly covers Scientology and extensively covered Masterson's case, was first to publish the letter in full on his Substack page. Masterson was charged in June 2020 with three counts of rape from alleged incidents that took place between 2001 and 2003. His 2022 court case ended in a mistrial in December. The judge opted to retry the case, and Masterson faced a second trial this year, which ended in him being convicted of two counts of rape. He was sentenced to 30 years in prison on September 7. Speaking to Esquire in January 2023, Kutcher said he wanted Masterson to be found innocent of the charges brought against him. However, he stressed that didn't mean he wanted Masterson off the hook for alleged crimes. Kutcher just hoped Masteron's alleged behavior wasn't true because Masterson was such a mentor for him throughout his career. Ultimately, I can't know, Kutcher said at the time about the outcome of Masterson's trial. I'm not the judge. I'm not the jury. I'm not the DA. I'm not the victim. And I'm not the accused. And so in that case, I don't have a space to comment. I just don't know. At the sentencing, the three Jane does in the case told the judge that Masterson's crimes had ruined their lives and asked the judge to give Masterson life behind bars. Masterson did not speak at his sentencing. Scroll below for some excerpts from the letters to the judge in Danny Masterson's trial. Bijou Phillips, model, actor and Masterson's wife. Danny is an amazing father. Our daughter and I are heartbroken that he is not home with us. It has been very difficult without him here. Even though is he now in jail, he calls her every day. We need him more than you can imagine. I know he has been convicted of serious crimes, but the man I married has only been an extraordinary husband to me and a devoted father to our daughter. Billy Baldwin, actor and Masterson's brother-in-law, Baldwin is married to Wilson Phillips singer, China Phillips, who is Bijou Phillips' sister. I know that Danny has been convicted of a very serious crime and is facing a lengthy prison sentence. The purpose of this letter is to inform you about the Danny Masterson that I know. Danny the man, the friend, colleague, family member, husband, and father. I have worked in the entertainment industry for 35 years and I can say unequivocally that I have never known anyone that is more beloved than Danny Masterson. Since he has been incarcerated, I have heard him on the phone with his daughter helping her with her math homework while she tries to navigate through this devastating life-changing event at only nine years old. Well, Masterson, brother, in 2009, I graduated from USC. Danny was the only one of my siblings to sit through the entire graduation ceremony in the scalding hot sun. He didn't make it a secret how proud of me he was, as he'll tell almost everyone I'm introduced to that I'm his brother who went to college. Deborah Jo Rupp, actor of the 70s show, Danny was the leader of the kids on our show. He had the most acting experience and was a little bit older. He was well liked and very respected. One of the first things Danny did with them was to sit them all down, he had a little meeting, and had them all make a pact that no one would do drugs because of the nature of our show. The spotlight would be on them and he wanted everyone to succeed. As a result, you never saw them in the tabloids. Danny made sure of that and I was so appreciative. They all kept their word. Over the years Danny is one of the few that came to support me by seeing my shows in the theater. He brought his family sometimes. And it was a joy. Kurtwood Smith, actor of the 70s show, I consider Danny to be a good friend. Our friendship revolved around work. Danny was the leader among his contemporaries in the cast. He was a tad older and much more experienced and he took that position seriously. During the eight years we did with the show we never had the problems some other shows had with their younger cast members. Giovanni Ribisi, actor and friend, I have known Danny Masterson since I was nine years old. When we were children, Danny would trek across the country from New York and stay with my family and me in North Hollywood during the peak audition months for child actors. It was always a joy for my family to have him as a guest. I have always known Danny to be an ethical, honest person who lived with the highest standards in work and family. 
I have always known Danny to be a central figure in my peer group because of his integrity, his stance against drugs, his abhorrence of violence and most of all the respect he demonstrates toward of women and children. Alana Masterson, actor and sister, the most important thing about my brother Danny is his relationship with his nine-year-old daughter. They are best friends. He does everything with her and for her. Homework, story time, dance class, mini gold, baking, brushing and braiding her hair so her circles don't get into knots. They have ballet recitals in the living room and ice skating duets at the rink. They go and see movies every Saturday and go on long adventures together. She'd be lost without him, we all would be. He's our family's true North Star for so many friends and loved ones. Mila Kunis, actor, The 70s Show. I first met Danny during our time working together on that 70s show, and from the very beginning, I could sense his innate goodness and genuine nature. Throughout our time together, Danny has proven to be an amazing friend, confidant, and, above all, an outstanding older brother figure to me. His caring nature and ability to offer guidance have been instrumental in my growth both personally and professionally. His genuine concern for those around him and his commitment to leading by example make him an outstanding role model and friend. Ashton Kutcher, actor of The 70s Show and The Ranch, Danny takes his job seriously. He is kind, courteous, and hardworking. He treated everyone from the grips to the teamsters to the actors to the caterers as equals. As a role model, Danny has consistently been an excellent one. There was an incident where we were at a pizza parlor, and a belligerent man entered who was berating his girlfriend. We had never met or seen these people before, but Danny was the first person to jump to the defense of this girl. It was an incident he didn't have to get involved in but proactively chose to because the way this man was behavior was not right. He has always treated people with decency, equality, and generosity. <sighs> Show. Mm, mm, mm. All I'm going to say is um, you see that when it, it's a certain celeb or, you know, um, especially with the white actors and actors, you see how the way they take up on him. Yeah, that was some of them, his family member. But I want y'all to see how they take up for him. They're there for him, despite what he did. He's been convicted 30 years. Um, they wrote these letters so he can get a lesser time in jail because he was a brother figure. We respected him. He was the oldest. I kept hearing that over and over and over. I didn't hear not one. I maybe I, I didn't read all the letters. I did read um, Ashton Kusher in full. I didn't hear him say anything about oh sorry to the victims. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a bad thing that happened to them. Now, I didn't hear that. All he said was, I'm not the victim. I'm not this. I'm not the judge. That's it. You know, can care less about what, what those young women went through, right? What those women went through, right? You know, I wanted to bring this out because if this was somebody who was not famous, not a, you know, not an actor or a, not an actor, he was just somebody, a regular person like you and me, nobody wouldn't write no letter for him. They'd be like, put him underneath the jail. Put him underneath the prison. I've heard that. You know, it's crazy. Now, how I hear about this, because I'm noticing that nobody is, they, they talk, they're talking about Danny Madison, but maybe there are some other people on social media talking about it. But I wanted people to know that he has support from, he's, he has support from more than 50 people. They're supporting him, despite what he does. Now, how I first heard about this was through Bar Alert. Shout out to them. They were the ones that first posted this, that um, Ashton Kushner's letter in support of Danny Madison release he is among the few people that I would trust to be alone with my son and daughter. You know? And so I, I believe this is somebody who's always in the courtroom or they find in documents. I've seen her name before. Let me know who she is. But Ashton Kushner's letter to the judge who sentenced Danny Madison for eight. We have spent countless hours together with our kids, and he is among few people that I would trust to be alone with my son and daughter. Um, this is his letter, but I kind of played the letter in bits and pieces. It was in that article. I wanted you guys to hear how they respected this man, and they still respect this man. It's like they love him, <laughs> so to speak, like as a family member. So I just want you guys to know, because there are some family members, like his brother, I believe his brother and sister too spoke out, but 
it just amazes me how they take offense to that. So, I just want you to see the letter. Now, over here in the comments, um, I'm going to read a few bits. It says, just shows how, it, how easy it is for kids to be put around predators. Um, someone here says, we are not friends after you get convicted of rape. Uh, I'm sorry, I had to clear that up. We are not friends after you get convicted of hate. Don't even say my name, bro. I don't know how you can equate how your best friend acts around your kids in comparison to how he conducts himself around a woman to let him know. Disgusting. I read that entire letter. And something I heard before made a lot of sense. Celebrities and wealthy people alike live in these weird bubbles. Their real, real ability and coherency always seems makeshift. Because the way he worded his letter, the example he used for his character sounds like he don't actually show, act, don't actually know what to say about this person he knows who hates someone. Like, I read the letter and glitch a little. I don't know. It's kind of like if you ask Bill Gates how much milk is or what's the average amount his light bill is monthly. I'm sure he knows, but I'm also sure he doesn't. L L-M-A-O, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. This letter, just weird as hell in general. It is weird. I do feel like it is weird. Um, even the most vile human have loyal people behind them. Mm -hmm. I'm not surprised. Also, imagine your daughter telling you a man took advantage of them and you're like, oh, honey, it's a misunderstanding. Men never cease to amaze me because you will want that man locked the F up, you up. And I don't think people went to look this up, but there was women who actually took up on, you know, Mila Kunis. You know, she wrote a letter. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to write a letter if I know somebody did physical harm to somebody else. I don't care if we're best friends or not. I'm not writing a letter to lessen their sentence. I'm going to talk to them as an individual to be like, why did, why did you do this? You, you were the main one telling us not to use drugs, but you use drugs to, you you basically use drugs on these women to get them unconscious. I don't know. This this is very weird to me. Um, This is why I say I don't have no, when people ask me, do I have favorite celebs? I don't have none. I don't have none. Because they will make excuses for their friends, but if that was somebody out in the street, nobody really didn't know who they were. They will be sitting there telling them, throw them into jail, throw them into prison, give them the max sentence, all of that. If that was the other way around. After 40 years, I'm finally gonna get closure to this and clear my name. People just don't know how it feels to be accused of something you didn't do. Because while the wrongfully convicted sit behind bars, the actual perpetrators are free to commit additional crimes. And we believe that is what happened in this case. So I, I feel no ways for them. And, I, and this gives me, you know, I'm happy that this was brought out because now it, it gives me a better light on certain celebrities. But let me know what y'all what y'all think um, about this down below in the comment area. The astronauts see y'all later. Peace. Y'all got them big veneers all in your face. I know them teeth this heavy. Mouth look like an old school Chevy. Cause you got them big veneers all in your face. You could have just got some braces. Y'all got them big veneers all in your face. I know them teeth this heavy. Now look like an old school Chevy. Cause you got them big veneers all in your face. You could have just got some braces. They out of place. So you want a new smile. But every tooth about a mile wide. And the person who did them ain't even certified. It's only a matter of time before they fallin' out. Better watch your mouth. Teeth look like some chiclets, so cut it out. And your mouth look like piano keys. Got all the babies scared when you say cheese. In your face. I know them teeth is heavy. Mouth look like an 
aus Gusch.